Hello and welcome to the autumn sun here at the campsite Camp for You near Wrocław, Poland. It's about one o'clock and it's the 31st of October 2022. So this type of weather is unusual and I'm making the most of it to actually do some charging of the battery. So here behind we've got my motorhome which has a 200 or what in fact two 200 uh, two 100 watts 200 watts of back contact solar on it which date to 2014 it works perfectly well inside i've got 360 amps of uh, lithium ferrous phosphate batteries here i've got two batteries which i've uh, now uh, charged the one on the right is a power oak battery which dates to uh, 2018 and that is a 500 uh, watt battery works very well and uh, even though it's a museum piece and here we've got an echo flow which is uh, the same as the, uh, the, pa the 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 panels and so we're just gonna have a quick look here now when I looked earlier it was on 68 it was charging at uh, and earlier to that it was on 86 watts and now it's on 67. You can see it's a very sunny day but at the same time that's now 97% full and I'm utterly amazed at the speed which it's actually loaded because um, um, this was 59% full when I started about 25 minutes ago if that and so it's really gone uh, charged very quickly in fact it may have actually been I've reduced the speed at which it's charging at now these things here have been given the name power what's it power stations or something like that I prefer to call them power banks but a power bank like this is great particularly in older vehicles because it, 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 it they can be moved from one vehicle to the other there's a number of really positive features about them for example we've got we've got all the the, the, the plugs you have on there's a cigarette lighter we've got the USBs we've I'll show you on this one and uh, you've got uh, the uh, shore power and uh, it's it's absolutely uh, ideal for uh, those with uh, uh, older vehicles that may or conversion vehicles. But even if you've got a brand new one, something like this is great to take the strain off your existing batteries. Now, as you can see, if you use it like with something like this, uh, this pot, this. Um, uh, these panels that I've got out here, these flexible panels. Now, the advantage with something like this is that it's very, very light and you can fit them anyway. We've got these cables, which will um, really easy to, to fit, to, to connect the whole thing up. It's a matter of seconds. That's unlike putting stuff on your roof, which has to be done by a professional only. So uh, that I think is, uh, absolutely a must for anybody with uh, a older vehicle a conversion or something like that but it also has another uh, use which I use it for for example I can have something like this in my vehicle and um, then I, I leave it charging from the outside but uh, in the winter that is so I have this on the uh, the wind windscreen of my my van and then um, I alternate between the battery on the computer and that. Now, currently, that is taking in more power than the um, the com uh, computer would uh, actually use. So I could have it just plugged into something like this, and that would be directly uh, resolve that problem. Um, but uh, obviously, the computer I use it in the early morning and in the evening, so then uh, I'll need a bit of stored power. From something like that now here at the moment it's, it begins to get light at 7 in the morning and unfortunately it's now dark at 5 or even before 5 so uh, that is how I uh, use uh, you use the two things together what it's going to be like in winter I don't know but that really is for my way of thinking a uh, quite a lot of power coming in from this uh, echo flow device now echo flow uh, do manage, uh, make a number of uh, solutions like this, not just this monocrystal silicon cell uh, solar panel, but also these uh, 
um, these devices and indeed they have bigger devices which would be even more suitable uh, for, for vehicles and, in, and potentially even domestic use given the problems that we may be have, uh, we do have at this time. Now uh, this thing here, I was thinking about giving it to a friend of mine in Kiev and uh, so at least he'll have some power when things, uh, when it, we're, we're doing blackouts there. So, anyway, so yes, see that's a little, a quick little test. I, as you can tell, I'm really a big believer in things of this nature. Uh, I think that this really is essential form of power. When I started living in a van, which in 2011, there wasn't any solutions like this. I paid 300 pounds just to fix up a couple of uh, wires and uh, to, to the battery. I mean, it was, and now, um, uh, you can have a, a complete lithium battery like this for um, well you'd be looking at a setup like this admittedly what maybe be looking around a thousand euros by the time you pay for the battery plus the panels but all, all the same I mean what it actually does for you it allows you to live off the grid and I think that's an important thing now you may be thinking what's it like in the rain well I filmed it in the rain um, it, it, okay when it starts to get dark yeah the power drops to one but what happens is uh, I can actually see when it's charging when it's not charging because a light comes on on the uh, on, on the batteries in the morning I can actually see the green light getting bigger and bigger so I can see it actually come on and um, I'm given warning that it's charged it may only be charging at one watt but uh, I suppose one watt isn't a lot but it, it charges in the rain and it charges when it, it gets darkish I mean obviously it's not night it doesn't charge on the street lights or anything like that uh, at least not that I've seen anyway Good, so uh, I hope you found that uh, of interest and um, uh, I'll, I'll do speak a lot about this type of uh, battery. So um, uh, anyway, uh, I'm a big believer in them. I'm going to be doing more um, trials of uh, this type of equipment so you can see see how, how it's going, how it's charging. So thanks so much for watching for the moment and it's all the best for me in this uh, in in the uh, this campsite hey, whilst everybody everybody sort of left that was here it was quite a lot well, quite a lot there was a few people here last night and uh, they're almost all gone now so i'll use the opportunity when no one's around i'll just have give you a quick look there at the campsite I know I've shown in other videos, I'm going to show it again. Uh, so we've got the reception there, we've got the clubhouse there, the shower blocks here. We've got these uh, outdoor, um, what do you call it, these houses, camping houses or something like that. But they're quite nice inside. Uh, down there there's a swimming pool, there's a sauna. Um, and if you're lucky enough to come when, I, when I'm here, then, then I'll even put the sauna on for you. And we've got down the right hand side down there, there is a place for fixing vehicles. Uh, so it fits solar panels, uh, the rigid ones, uh, and, uh, as well as doing other things such as repairs. My vehicle here behind was repaired. The garage was repaired here. For example, the garage had a, uh, the door, um, there was a problem with the door. Anyway, I think it's going to happen with lots of things. The door came out of alignment and anyway, so there you have it, a uh, uh, little bit on the, the solar panels and a little bit on the uh, campsite. Thanks so much for watching, I upload every day at 21.15, uh, this video isn't going up at 21.15 but uh, there's a premiere every single day at 21.15 in which I talk about van life or mainly that's about vehicles and uh, occasionally I do things out off this time as well so if you subscribe and ring the bell then you'll know when I'm uploading thanks for watching and all the best from me in Wrocław Poland <laughs>